Some passing clouds headed overhead tonight around the Birmingham metro area, and that's kept the temperature up just a little bit. We're at 54 with a southeast wind at 10. And if you're out in the breeze, it's jacket weather. If you're protected from the breeze, it really doesn't feel that bad tonight. So the cold wave is gone. Warmer air is here to stay for a while. The warmth will bring some rain and the first round of that rain really hits in earnest on Friday, and that will take care of most of the ice that is left over from this incredible cold wave that we have just come out of. This was earlier today up on Sand Mountain in DeKalb County, the Fife community. Daniel Galloway tracking that crane, making his way slowly across the frozen pond that was frozen from side to side. A lot of them in North Alabama that way, but a lot of the ice in central Alabama has already started to thaw because we made it to the 60s this afternoon. It's still in the 50s in Birmingham, Shelby County Airport, Centerville at 51, Clanton at 54, but it's down to 47 in Gadsden and 48 in Cullman, where it will be a little bit cooler tonight than say Birmingham and Tuscaloosa on the whole. Patchy clouds drifting overhead, but no rain on WVTM 13 live Doppler. Maybe by tomorrow afternoon we see a shower or two west of Birmingham, but most of the day is dry. Chilly in the morning, mild in the afternoon, but that breeze south at around 10 to 20 miles per hour may take the edge off of the warmth a bit. 39 tomorrow morning in Lineville, 43 at Jasper, 43 at Helena, Winfield around 46 in Marion County, and then tomorrow afternoon, it may be a bit cooler toward Vinemont, Haleyville, and Galesville, a little warmer toward, uh, say, Helena, Pelham, Brent, Akron, and Forkland, where we could top out close to 70 degrees. There are the patchy clouds coming overhead tonight. There's moisture ahead of this next big storm system, and it is a big one, too. One big round of rain comes in during the day on Friday. I think our best chance of rain Friday is really after dark through Saturday morning. Watch how this pans out. A breezy, cloudy start to the day. Rain begins to move in, some of it fairly heavy, and it's persistent all the way through the first part of the day Saturday. Good news is I think by the time we get to Saturday night for New Year's Eve celebrations, the majority of that rain is over. New Year's Day looks phenomenal. The high at 69 with a light west wind. Monday rain begins to move in again. We'll keep an eye out for heavy rainfall, potentially some severe storms on Tuesday and rain lasts into Wednesday. Flash flooding also a concern there with maybe as much as five to six inches of rain here over the next seven days. Let's go live.